Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install mods on Minecraft Xbox One Edition. Now, I'm showing you guys one of the easiest methods that currently work in January 2024. So if you guys do enjoy this video and it does help you guys out, make sure to smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. You guys, you probably already know this, but there's a few things you might need. So the first thing you're going to need is My Files Explorer app. Now, this is a free app on the Xbox One. You can also buy it. We're just going to look up My File Explorer. It's right here. My Files Explorer. Once you get that, you can buy it or it's about like $2. But I just got the free trial because they have a free trial of it. So that's what I recommend getting. Now, what you guys are going to do is open Microsoft Edge and actually go to this website, MinecraftModded.com. We're just going to type in here real quick. This is a really cool website that actually lets you download Minecraft mods for Xbox One, PS4, Windows 10, everything you really need. So we're going to go to MinecraftModded.com. And there you go, guys. Once you're here, as you'll see, there's farm tutorials, maps, mods, realms and servers, shaders, skins, texture packs. These all work for Xbox edition. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the, um, let's go to the mods. I want to get a mod. And we can just hit close on this ad over here. You don't have to open that. Just hit close on that and let it load. And once it loads a bunch of different mods, I saw a Pixelmon mod I want to get. Yeah, right here, there's a Pixelmon mod. So I'm going to go download this Pixelmon mod. So you want to just click on the article. You don't really have to read through it, but once it loads, you just scroll down. It just has like a little overview of everything, but we really don't need that because I we just want to play it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to scroll all the way down. And sometimes there'll be one download link. Sometimes you have to download the behavior pack and resource pack separately, but that doesn't matter. We'll just start off with the behavior pack. We're going to hit download on that. So guys, all you want to do is scroll down now and you can hit get Pixamon mod for free. Let's hit download right there. And now it's going to bring you guys to the media fire, but do not hit the blue download button because it does not work in Microsoft Edge. You guys can't hit the blue download button. What you guys want to do is actually copy this link. So we're just going to highlight the whole thing, hit the pause button on it, and then go to copy. And we're just going to copy that link and let's go back to the home screen. We're going to go back home. And you're going to want to open this app that we downloaded earlier, the My Files Explorer app. Once you open it, this is going to come on your screen. You may need to install the standalone expansion game add-on for tools and assets. So we're going to hit install from store, which is then going to bring you to another game. If it does ask you to update your Microsoft Store, hit cancel. Do not update it. That's what broke the method last time. So once you do that, you'll be taking in this other game or this other app called expansion for explorers it's same thing two dollars and 59 cents to buy it or own it or you can get a free trial i already have the free trial so we're just going to hit launch the game right now and it's going to launch the game we're going to hit play trial and it's going to bring you guys right here so it's going to actually bring you guys right here so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download from url on the top it's going to bring you to a google tab we're just going to go up here highlight the whole thing and just erase it you're going to want to press b to go back and we're just going to want to double tap it. Hang on, let's erase that again. We want to paste it in there. There you go. And you just want to paste your link all the way in there. We're going to hit paste. Click on it again. And then just hit the enter button to go to the website. And now we're here. So now we can hit download. And it's going to be downloading the behavior pack. And guys, as you can see right here, the Pokeblock behavior pack has downloaded. So what you want to do is hit copy on it. We're going to hit the pause button and then hit copy file. You guys want to go to packages and then go to Microsoft.Minecraft folder if you can't see this microsoft.minecraft folder that's okay a lot of people don't have it a lot of people do have it if you do not have it you can very easily add it so what you guys want to do is put your mouse somewhere in the white somewhere where it's not like bothering anything or touching anything hit the pause button and then go down to new folder and you guys have to name everything exactly how i do exactly like capitals and lower cases exactly so we're going to do microsoft with a capital m and then you're going to want to go back and do a period and then we're going to do another capital m for minecraft so let's put in minecraft and then you're going to do period u w p in all capitals so u w p and then you're going to want to do console with a capital c and then you guys are going to want to do an underscore so we're going to hit underscore and then you're going to want to do eight w e k w e k y b three d eight b b w e and i'll put everything on screen like a little graph of what you need then you just hit the pause button again to confirm it and you'll see it's right here then you want to open that up and now we can add the sub directory so now we're going to add another folder and this folder is going to be called local state with a capital l and a capital s so we got local and then we're going to do state and there you go we're going to put that in there 
Now we're going to open that up and we're going to do another new folder inside of that folder with games, all lowercase games, just the word games, all lowercase. And sometimes it might fill itself. Like you'll make a folder, open it, and there's already stuff in there. It's pretty nice when it does it itself. So we got games. And now we're going to open up games and do a brand new folder again. And this one is all lowercase. It's going to be com.mojang. So com.mojang, all lowercase. We're going to hit the enter button again. Open that up now. And then in here, we have like four folders we have to add. So let's add a new folder. It's, this one's going to be called resource packs. So all lowercase. Exactly like that. Resource packs, hit enter. There you go. We're going to do a new folder now for behavior packs, which is the same thing. So all lowercase behavior packs. There you go. We got behavior packs. We're going to do a new folder now. Same thing with skin packs. We're just going to do skin and then underscore and then packs again. All lowercase with skin packs. Let's get that added. There we go. And then one more now, guys. We're going to do Minecraft World. So cap lowercase m actually, but a capital W. So let's put in Minecraft. And then we're going to do capital W for worlds. And then hit enter. And there you go. And that's successfully how you add all the Minecraft directory files. Once you add it, you want to open this up. Go to local state. Go to games. Go to com.mojang. And then just paste it in here. So we're going to hit the pause button again and hit paste. And it's going to paste it right in here. And then what you guys want to do is hit the pause again on that and hit extract. So let's extract the behavior pack. Let's extract that right now and it's gonna take some time to extract and it can take 10 to 20 minutes so let's just let it load okay guys there you go so once it's done extracting you'll see the new folder here pokey block behavior pack extracted we're just gonna want to open that up and you'll see the behavior pack here you want to hit the pause button on that again and then hit copy folder and then we're gonna go back to com.mojing and obviously we're gonna go to our behavior packs folder and just dump it right in here where all the behavior packs should go so we're gonna paste it back in there and let that process now, usually when you download packs, it'll be one file, but this one is split up in two. So if you go back, copy this link right over here. Let's go ahead and copy it. Then we're going to go back to expansion for explorers. We're going to, you know, let this thing load up. We're going to hit play trial. I didn't buy it yet. We're going to go ahead, download URL and paste it up here. And now we're going to download the resource pack really quickly. And once that downloads, we'll just do the same thing for the resource pack. And sometimes it's all in one download, so you don't have to do it twice. Most of them are just one download. You just export them, and both the resource pack and behavior pack come out at the same time. But this one was split in two, which that's totally fine. They're big files, so that's okay. Okay, guys, now there's one more thing we do actually have to do. Let's go back to the Microsoft Store. We have to install a different version of Minecraft, so let's let this load up. We're going to go ahead and hit search, and we're going to now look up SpongeBob. So let's look up SpongeBob to install it. We can go to add-ons and we can download it right here. Let me scroll down. And just scroll down and you'll see right here it says works with and you got Minecraft. So we're going to click on that to install it. And there you go. It will say install. You can play this or not currently available. If it doesn't let you install it, what you have to do is reset your Xbox settings. Unfortunately, that's what I know could fix it, but that would delete some things. So that's one thing you can try if this won't work, if it won't let you install it. But luckily, I just did a factory reset because it was not working. So let me go ahead and hit install. And we're going to install this version of Minecraft now. So let's let this load up and play. Let's hit install. Come on. Oh, it's doing it for me. So you see, if it's doing this glitch for you guys, what you have to do, unfortunately, is we have to go to our Xbox settings. And guys, there's one thing I want to quickly add is if you have a lot of important information on your Xbox or accounts you use for game sharing, do not reset it. Please do not do that because there's a chance it might not work. Recently, this method has not been working for a lot of people. People have been reporting doing a whole factory reset doesn't work. And some say, oh, it fixed after a couple hours. But currently right now, a lot of people on Discord are saying it's not working. So like I mentioned, just a couple days ago, the same thing was happening and it fixed itself within a couple hours and it's happening again. So if you have anything important, do not reset your Xbox. I recommend joining the Discord server in the description down below to see an update when it does come out and see what's going on with it. If it's fixed or if there's another way to do it. I just don't want you guys to reset your Xbox, lose any information and it does not work. It might work for you, but most likely everyone is reporting in Discord that it's not working for them when this just happened a couple days ago and it fixed after a couple hours. So just to be safe, do not reset your Xbox if you have anything important and don't want to lose. System, console info, 
You want to hit reset console and then just hit reset and keep my games and apps. You don't have to do the factory reset. Just hit reset and keep my games and apps. So let's click on that and it's going to do this little reset. All right, guys. And then once it's back up, we're just going to go through this setup thing again. Let me just hit my little home button and then we're going to hit A again. Come on. Yalla load. Let's hit A. Now we're going to choose all this crap again. So let's do this real quick. We're going to go to settings and we're going to go to system and updates and just make sure these two are turned off. So keep my console up to date and keep my games and apps up to date. Turn those off so it doesn't automatically update. Now we're going to go to the store and now we're going to look up the SpongeBob add-on again and get Minecraft from SpongeBob. So it's going to ask you, do you want to update the Microsoft Store? Do not hit update. Hit cancel. And that's how we know it's working right now. So now we're going to go ahead and hit SpongeBob. Once we get that, we'll just go over to add-ons. It'll be right here, the first one, the Minecraft one. Now we're going to scroll down again to works with all the way at the bottom the third one down we're going to hit that and now it should let us install it if it says this not currently available continue shopping you have to install minecraft another way and then go back and do this it's very tedious and annoying so we're just going to go back and we're going to look up minecraft and just install minecraft like normal so let me go ahead and we're going to go back out of here and we're just going to install minecraft like regular there we go guys we have it launching right now so it's installed so now i'm just going to go back home we already installed it we already launched it. let's go back to the store now we're not going to update it. We're going to hit cancel. And now let's just look up SpongeBob again. Once we get SpongeBob, let's let this load. We're going to go to add-ons. We're going to go install this. And let's scroll down again to works with. There we go. We're going to click on that. And it should let us install it now. There we go. Now let's hit install. And now it's going to be in the queue. So we'll hit view and queue. Let's suspend any running game right now. And now we got the older version that's actually installing, which will let us run the mods. And there you go, guys. That's successfully how you would install mods onto Minecraft Xbox One Edition. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you guys out. If it did, make sure to smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button. If you guys have any other questions or trouble with it or it's not working, let me know in the comment section down below or what error message are you getting. If you guys see someone needing help in the comment section, try to reply to them and help them to the best you can. And I will try to get back to you too if I can as well. And that way we can make like a support system in the comment section. But with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Happy birthday if it's y'all's birthday. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and peace out.